a maybe two minute task was taking me 20 minutes and I still hadn't figured it out. And I was like, what is wrong with me? And then I just kind of put my hand up and I was like, oh, I'm burning up. And I haven't been out of bed this long in like four days. We don't have a whole lot of time on the quarter system for um, days to be lost. Basically what I'm saying is I'm just bummed that I wasn't at work yesterday because I didn't get to like share in the experience of them starting their books. I'm so nerdy, you guys. Good morning, welcome back to the caffeinated classroom. If this is your first time here, my name is Marie. I'm a high school English teacher in San Diego, California. And this is going to be another day in the life vlog because so many of you out there liked the first one quite a bit. So I actually thought today would be a good day to do another day in the life of a high school teacher just so you can kind of see the ins and outs of my day. I'm about to leave for work right now. It is Tuesday morning and I have been out. <laughs> the last time I was at school was last Thursday. I went home early with a fever, ended up up home sick Friday was in bed most of the weekend and then yesterday Monday I ended up staying home again just because I was like one more sub day versus how many days to recover you know what I mean so I just didn't want to get more sick but I have to head in and I will check in with you guys in a bit <laughs> So what you just saw was what my classroom looked like when I got here this morning. Um, I just have a little routine where I'm turning on all my lights. I normally make myself a cup of coffee, but I just still have not been feeling very good. So I went for tea with a little bit of honey. Um, in fact, I have another cup of tea. It's like my third cup of tea today, but that's okay. Nobody's counting. Um, it is now my prep period, actually. I teach three periods in a row, and then it's lunch, and then we have the last period of the day, and the last period of the day happens to be my prep period. So I... I'm gonna talk you guys through what the day has been like. I am really tired because I was sick, like I said, this past weekend, and I haven't been out of bed this long in like four days. So, um, pretty tired. My head is pounding, so I need to sit down and kind of take care of some stuff, and we'll see how long I last. So walking through my classes today. I have a 10th grade class, first period, and then my second and third period classes are both 12th grade English classes, all English classes, obviously. Um, and so my 10th graders just, just yesterday started a new unit um, with choice novels and we are looking at human nature and they are addressing an essential question. And basically yesterday when I was out sick, we were going to do all of the beginning the unit stuff. <clears throat> Moral of the story was, I or is, I just wasn't here yesterday, so I didn't get to do that stuff, but they still had a quiz today because gosh darn it, we don't have a whole lot of time on the quarter system for um, days to be lost. And I just have this feeling that other days are going to be lost in the future for whatever reason. So I wanted to keep us as on track as possible. So the kiddos had a quiz today um, on a very short amount of reading. They had a lot of reading time yesterday in class to get started and get things done. I get so excited about the beginning of units, especially choice novel units where like they're getting to know their characters and they're diving into the setting and it's stuff that I like want to be there for and I'm just bummed that I wasn't here. Really, basically what I'm saying is I'm just bummed that I wasn't at work yesterday because I didn't get to like share in the experience of them starting their books. I'm so nerdy, you guys. Um, so that's 10th grade. They're moving and shaking. 11, uh, 11th grade, I don't teach 11th grade. Okay, I'm tired, guys. My 12th graders today. <laughs> um, we had some stuff to make up for. Like Friday when I was out, they were supposed to have a um, book club discussion meeting. Didn't get to have it yesterday because I was out again, so we had that today. Just a few things that like they missed like when I missed, we didn't do, so we were, we were playing catch up a little bit today, finishing up some loose ends from last week, starting to dive into new topics. Once again, it just kind of feels rushed. I don't feel, I'm not like sad about that one. Like I am about missing the 10th grade 
kiddos beginning their books, um, which I'm sure if any of you guys are watching this, you're like, why are you sad about that, Mrs. Morris? I don't know, because I'm weird. Right now, what I need to do is organize and make a list of all the things I need to grade, because that was the other thing I was doing when I went home sick, is I was in the middle of grading a whole pile of writing assignments, and well, what do you know, I was going to give them back on Friday because they were doing another writing assignment, so now I have double the writing assignments I need to give feedback on before we do the same type of an assignment. I do weekly assignments that are often the same so that I can give feedback and we can grow on a weekly basis when it comes to writing. Um, I'm backed up by two weeks. So I have a lot of papers that I need to just give feedback on. I have a few things I need to enter in the grade book because kids are getting a little bit like, hey, I turned in that assignment. Why isn't it in there? And I'm like, well, I was in bed for four days. Um, I need to make some quizzes for my seniors. Yeah, I have a fair amount of work to do and I'm feeling a little dopey. So we'll see how far I get before I have to take the work home with me. All right, off we go. So, uh, I was just, you saw me just now actually writing down some notes because there are a fair amount of copies that I need to be making just for the rest of this week and then I wanna make sure that I set myself up for success for the following week. So I'm trying to catch up and stay afloat and work ahead all at the same time. Um, it's gonna be a little bit nuts for the next couple of days, but I'll be really happy with myself by like Friday if I do all of that. So then things I, some things that I need to make copies of before I go all the way up to the office, which isn't like, it's not like all the way, but it's like kind of far. Before I go up to the office to make copies though, there are some things that I need to create. So I'm just kind of like walking around the room seeing it's not really that bad. I mean, you did see a little bit ago, you did see the state of my desk, which um, is no fault of either substitute I had. I I left Friday or Thursday afternoon of last week. Like it, I made it to like one o'clock in the afternoon and we get out at, uh, I mean, it's probably like 1.30. So I think I had an hour left in the day, but it was during my prep period. And I realized that a maybe two minute task was taking me 20 minutes and I still hadn't figured it out. And I was like, what is wrong with me? And then I just kind of put my hand up and I was like, oh, I'm burning up. It was just a little bit nutty. Um, so. I'm kind of also just like cleaning up and finding things. I was in the middle, like I said, I was in the middle of grading things. I was in the middle of planning something and I just like left it all. So I have a lot of post-its all over. I just need to consolidate and make some to-do lists and that sort of thing. But it is almost time for me to leave uh, because I need to go and take care of a bunch of things. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do this afternoon? I'm gonna get my nails done because you guys, they're really bad. It's been a month. I shouldn't be showing you that. Why do I want that to focus? I don't want that to focus on my hand. So I am going to go and I'm going to take care of this stuff. I'm going to be here until the end of my day. And then I am going to, which isn't like, it's like 10 minutes from now. Um, and then I am going to go take care of myself a little bit. Have some more tea because my voice hurts again. And uh, I can't believe I actually made it through the whole day. Like I'm pretty tired, but I pushed through because there's a lot of work to be done. Um, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, my friends. So I just did a little treat yourself moment. Got my nails done. I'm much happier now. <laughs> I don't do a whole lot of things. Like I don't really get my hair done very often. I definitely use box dye all the time. Like I'm not a person who goes to get facials. Not that I don't like those things. I just like, I don't know. I don't really have the extra money to spend. So like one of the few things that I do is I get my nails done every few weeks and it just, it just makes me feel good and I really like it. So pretty happy about that this afternoon. Um, I have a bag full of grading that I'm taking home with me. I don't know how somehow between the last time I was talking to you guys and right now, um, my voice is just like gone. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee on my way home before I go and do all of that. It's still pretty early in the afternoon. Um, so I have a little bit of time before my kiddos are going to be getting home and I'm going to go and do that. Get some fancy coffee that somebody else is gonna make for me and then go home and be as productive as I can before I go to sleep because I'm not gonna lie to you, I almost fell asleep in the chair at the nail salon because I am so stinking tired. So wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, my 
friends. It is just after five o'clock. I am home. As you saw, I did a little stop off. Right next to the coffee shop is a C's candy store. And so I went in to get a couple of uh, Valentine's Day things for my kids. They always give you a sample and I always ask so nicely for a butterscotch square. <laughs> Okay, come on up. Oh, dinner's ready. Okay, so they've been making dinner. I have been looking at the to-do list that I made for myself yesterday that I knew I was gonna need for today. You all right? You gonna, you gonna make it? You hulking out? Will you go set the table and I'll be right there? Burped in my face. So I just picked up the to-do list that I'd made for myself at three o'clock this morning when I woke up because I figured, hey, if I can't fall back asleep, I may as well be productive. So let's see what I actually did, what I think I'm gonna get through tonight, and then I'm gonna say bye to you guys. So let's take a look. Here, let's cross things off as we go, shall we? I did my daily agenda slides for the rest of this week. I have not created reading quizzes and this is one that I actually have to do tonight. This one isn't until Friday. Um, I didn't actually, oh I did. I graded this sheet and that's actually it. I have a lot of grading that I need to do. Um, I sent in my grade books from last term. I am not going to be doing laundry. That will happen tomorrow. I did order contacts. I did not do this. I did not do this. Okay, I have a lot of things that I didn't do that will be moving on to tomorrow's to-do list. As you can see here, I'm already in my jammies, so I don't know how much else I'm going to be doing. So, right now, like I said, it is, actually it's probably closer to 5.30 by the time I'm actually doing this. Um, so, we're going to have dinner. The kids are pretty stinking tired, like there's just something, about, they had very long days. So I think we'll be able to get them in bed by about 7, which means that I'll be able to get at least a couple of items graded so that my, and I need to make quizzes for tomorrow for my 12th graders. Um, I'll get that taken care of so I don't have to worry about it and like get up really early in the morning, I can just kind of chill out. And then like my main goal tonight is not even to do my laundry, not to worry about the other stuff. Those things can wait. They are not dire. They are not something I need to have in the grade book like tomorrow. Um, I want to watch an episode of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina with my husband and then a little bit of something on Bravo afterwards so that I don't have nightmares. You know what I mean? Like those are the things that I want to do and those are the things that make me feel like a whole person. So yes, my to-do list is extensive, but it, nothing is dire. Nothing is needed immediately. So I am going to get done the things that I need to get done, things that I can get done kind of easily and quickly, and then hang out a little bit before I go to bed at like nine o'clock tonight because it all starts again tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're liking these day in the life videos, will you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below that you want to see more stuff like this. If you want to see different parts of the day, different days of the week, you know, just let me know. I think I'm going to start doing some routine videos because I've been getting some requests for that kind of stuff. Quite frankly, all I am is a teacher and a mom, but there are some things that I know just from my experience. So I figure if I can help make other people's lives easier or at least connect with other people then that's like why we're on this planet is to connect with other humans wow i'm gonna get off my soapbox now and say thank you again for watching if you're not already subscribed please take a moment to do so and i will see you guys next time bye